next on Airwolf. Were you exclusively contracted to Airwolf on a pay or play basis? When I agreed to do Airwolf, that was an exclusive contract. Even though uh, Don and Universal were involved with Magnum, Airwolf became my primary contract. So I was exclusive to them. And what they do is they sign you uh, when you go into these things for three, five, or seven years. That's what the contract is. And they basically work out all of your salary bumps and your credits, how you're going to be credited on the show. So, so all of that was set up up front and I agreed to it. And then that meant that I, I didn't do anything else and I didn't, I didn't do. I'm trying to think if I ever, I, I don't think I did any commercials either while I was on Airwolf because of that contract. And also because we just worked so much. Um, I did all but four of the 44 episodes in the two years that I was on the show. And I did all but four of them. And I think that's because in the very beginning, they wanted to do Sweet Bridges. Sweet Bridges could have gone anywhere, but they decided to shoot it as the season opener. The other two scripts were already written and in pre-production. I wasn't in those, and it was kind of too close together to get me into those. However, because of my contract and the way it was set up, I was paid for every episode, which was lovely. I was a little disappointed. I I wanted to work. I wanted to be there every day. Um, I loved it. I loved being on set. That's the thing that I miss. Um, people say, do you miss, miss acting? I miss the camaraderie of walking onto a set and saying hello to everybody and and the crew is pitching in and the actors are there and it's just a wonderful wonderful uh fraternal kind of group with that contract i couldn't do anything else i had done a pilot for abc and so abc was still talking to my agents uh, in case something didn't work out with airwolf we did go back in and renegotiate my contract after the first year there were th- some things that we wanted to switch up i wasn't guaranteed a motor home and so sometimes i'd have a trailer sometimes i'd be in what was called a honey wagon which had a little dressing room but the dressing room was about you know six feet by ten feet and it had a, a bunk and a, a small, tiny desk, a makeup mirror, and then a, and a bathroom and a closet. Those kinds of things were what we negotiated for the second year because I got sick. Uh, you know, I was cold. I was, uh, it wasn't comfortable. So the next year they negotiated for a motor home, but it was split between Archangel and myself. And so they thought, oh, well, why would we buy two motorhomes? And Alex is going to be very upset because he's already done the show for a year and a half without one. If we give Jeannie one, there's going to be a big fight. So they asked very nicely if I would be willing to share. And Alex and I talked about it. And we were actually great pals. And he bought a house in my neighborhood. That's what great pals we were. We shared a motorhome for my second year on the show. I had a really wonderful agent. I was very fortunate. She mostly represented writers. And so she had quite a bit of clout on the Universal lot because many of the producers and writers that were there were also her clients. Airwolf will continue.